Okay, so today in Final Cut, we're going to have a look at some of the tools that we can use to make a really refined selection. So the project I'm working on here is a beatbox, and we're not going to do much of the editing. We're just really going to look at how we can make a very precise selection from the original clip up here. Okay, so we're going to have a look, look at a couple of methods. So the first method to make a selection is to grab the clip and then just begin to drag out on it, and we will then have a bit of footage that we can drop onto the timeline. That's probably one of the most imprecise ways of doing it because we're super zoomed out on this clip. And so we can really only see a small section of what is quite a, a long clip. So let's uh, change one thing by refining what we see here, okay? So we're gonna hide the inspector across on the right here to give ourselves a little bit, a little bit more space here in the libraries, okay? So once we've got a bit more space, we're gonna zoom in. So we can zoom in right in on these clips. Okay, um, now we've already got a selection here, which you can see is going to be overwritten when we make a new selection. Okay, but we can also remove a selection by using the shortcut Option and X. And you can see when I press Option X, it will remove the old selection. Okay, so I'm selecting, pressing Option X, and then removing that. But we can also keep making new selections, and that will just renew the selection. Okay, so you can see we're quite zoomed in here, so we can start to see the different areas of the clip that we want to select. Now one thing with this particular clip is that we might want to see the audio waveforms because we're selecting different beats within these clips. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here and we'll grab this clip here, but we want to make sure that we get the audio from that clip. Okay, so we're going to come down here and show the audio waveforms, which will now show us where the different sounds are in our clip. And we can see quite clearly where these, these kind of beats are. So we can drag a selection around there. So we've got quite a nice kind of clean selection of just that beat. Okay, so we'll tighten this up a little bit and then we're gonna refine that when we drag and drop it down to the timeline. So I'm gonna remove this longer clip that we added and then come and drag and drop our clip down to the timeline. We can also use the append edit here as well in this case to add a clip to the end of the timeline. So you can see append edit adds it right at the end of the timeline. Okay, so now the next step is to find out which bits of the clip we actually want to keep. Okay, so we want to cut these super short around this audio waveform. So in the timeline, I'm going to place the playhead just before the beat um, here and then drag ahead in time and my edit point will snap to my playhead there. Okay, so we can move the playhead to the location that we want to cut. Now, one way of doing this is to play through and find the point at which you want to stop and then drag to a particular point. The other um, is to move forwards and backwards by one frame at a time, okay, just to see where you want to place the in or out point, okay. So I'm going to just use some shortcuts on the keyboard, which some of you may be familiar with, the J, K, and L keys. Now, if I play backwards and forwards, you can start to hear that beat now. And if we play backwards, okay we can then hold down K and tap J and L to move forwards and backwards by one frame. So this is one of my favorite ways of kind of marking uh, clips out or making selections. And then to cut the end of this clip off, I can either drag the end of this clip back in, or I can use I to mark an in point and press delete to remove the rest of that clip. Okay, let's have a look at another method of doing this. So we'll come back to the previous clip that we added. Okay, and we'll place the playhead here. Now, to trim here, I don't even need to select the clip. I could just use a function under the trim menu to trim the start of this clip, okay? So it's option and the left square bracket. And you can see that's gonna trim right from the beginning of that clip, okay? So that's another way of uh, refining it, trimming your clip. So we can start to work quite quickly with this. So if I press play now, you can hear that beat trailing out. If I hold down K and L at the same time, I'll play forwards and backwards at one third speed. So you can hear the beat pretty much trails out by this point and then I can use alt or option the right square bracket to trim from the end of that clip so that's one other method um, of trimming a clip so we've had a look at a couple of different ways of trimming a clip here let's just add another clip at the end here so we can place our playhead here we can use alt and the left square brackets to trim from the beginning of the clip we can trim the end of the clip by marking an in point here and then pressing backspace and that will trim from the end of the clip 
Um, and then we can also, if we just add another clip at the end here, we can also place the playhead, position the playhead using keys like J, K, and L to move forwards and back by one frame at a time, and then drag our edit point to the playhead, which is quite nice because it's accurate and it snaps really nicely, okay? We've also had a look at how we can zoom in and out of the browser so that we can get an overview in more detail of individual clips that we're working with in Final Cut Pro. And that's a few tips for refining your edits in Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any questions, then please drop down to my website, benhousel.com, or send me a tweet at benhousel. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have about working with Final Cut Pro, about trimming, editing, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.